Hey everyone, Natalie here from Art Is In Cakes, and I'm getting ready to do some chocolate dipped strawberries. But I have a question for you. Have you dipped your strawberries only to find out like the next day that they're moldy and fuzzy and weird or mushy? Yeah, me too. Absolutely me too. So I started asking all of the expert strawberry dippers in our area, what are they doing to prevent that? And they gave me this secret. They dip their strawberries in vinegar. I'm like, that's the genius dip them in vinegar. So I'm like, hey, let's do vinegar. And they're like, wait, 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 Natalie, no, no, no. One part vinegar, four parts water. I was like, oh, that makes way more sense. So I'm gonna do exactly that for you. I have just some basic white vinegar here. I'm sure you can use other vinegars, but I'm just using the good old white vinegar. And I'm gonna start with a single cup of vinegar. Oh yeah, I can smell that single cup of vinegar hanging out in my bowl and that means I need four cups of water. There's two and four. Now I'm going to give these strawberries a little dip. Long enough to kill the bacteria and the mold spores that are hanging out on there. Um, but you know don't always believe everything you see on the internet. This does not need to be a 20 minute soak. We're talking like five minutes here. I will make sure that the vinegar soak gets all up underneath the leaves. A lot of times that mold happens down here where the leaves are. I also found a bonus to this. By soaking my berries before I dip them, it refreshes the greenery. I don't know if you guys have gotten berries where it has the greenery, it's all shriveled and kind of dried up. It kind of refreshes those too, so they look better. So I'm plopping all these in here. I mean, seriously, look at how refreshed that greenery is. That is so amazing. They looked kind of dry and dead earlier. But now, they definitely have life. All right, now, for those of you who are wondering if this is still going to have some vinegar aftertaste to it, we're gonna fix that. So I've got some fresh water. I'm just gonna plop these guys into the fresh water momentarily to rinse off any vinegar residue that might still be hanging on. One of the benefits of giving it this extra little water bath, in addition to getting rid of any possible vinegar, is to give it just one more opportunity to remove any little bits of dirt, bits of fiber, or like the little, little bugs that might be hanging out on that strawberry. Now I'm just gonna lay my strawberries out to dry. I've got a little bit of paper towel out here. And just inspecting those berries at the same time. If it has a bruise, it's probably not suitable for strawberry dipping. Um, usually I'll use those for frozen strawberries for my cakes um, as well as for my strawberry fillings. So just inspect those guys, set them off. We do need them to dry completely before we dip them in chocolate. Now to make this drying process just a little bit faster, I'm going to pull out my trusty fan. Yeah, isn't that cute? And he's in my color. I'm gonna dry these by fan for a few minutes and then flip them over and dry the other side just to make sure there's no water vapor still hanging onto this berry before I try to dip it. So my strawberries are dry enough to dip now. There's no water vapor hanging on. And as I've rolled my berries over, I can see occasional red spots on the paper towel. Those are signs that that particular strawberry is too bruised to dip. Save that for something else. Because you can see it has definite bruising from top and bottom on this strawberry, leaving a little bit of strawberry juice behind. Saving that for filling. All right, I have my chocolate melted. And it is nice and smooth. One trick to smooth chocolate is making sure you do not over microwave this or overheat it. It likes a nice warm temperature of, oh, I don't know, about 102 degrees. That's plenty. This is going to look best if I dip my berries and place them onto a silicone mat. Now, every berry dipper that I know has a different dipping technique, and that's okay. I'm gonna grab one of my strawberries that I know isn't bruised. I'll pick it up gently, very gently, by the greenery. I dip give it a little wiggle and roll, wave off the excess, trying really hard not to bruise the greenery in the process. 
Once I have the excess off, I'm going to gently set her down. What do you do with the little baby strawberries? You know, these little guys that are too dinky to really make a statement in a paper cup? I like to dip two of them, two small ones, and meld them together into a strawberry heart. So then they take up about the same space as a large berry in my paper cups, but I've utilized the two baby berries in my flat of strawberries. So I messed up. I got distracted while I was microwaving my chocolate that I plan on using as my drizzle across my berries and it got really thick. But I have Paramount crystals. Yes, we sell these little guys. They are little flakes of the soy lecithins and shortenings that make up confectionery coating chocolates. And they act a little bit like adding butter to a sauce. So I can add a few flakes at a time and melts them in this really hot chocolate. It's definitely, it's definitely hotter than 102, which makes the chocolate thick enough. It's not seized, it's just thick. But I can loosen it up by adding those Paramount crystals. Ha oh, saved. It's still a little floppy, but it's definitely a lot thinner than it was. And I should be able to put it into a bag and drizzle the pink chocolate across the top of my berries. All right, so this is my presentation for those chocolate dipped strawberries. I've got a baker's dozen in here. That means it's one extra, right? And then I have a couple to share with my uh, husband as well. And I have some fresh flowers and a little bottle of something to enjoy inside this box. I think it's ready to present. And I'll keep it cold so that I don't lose my flowers. It's also a good idea to put a little, um, the little end stem, little water stem on the ends of your flowers just to make sure they stay beautiful and in prime condition right up until you're ready to hand this to somebody else that deserves it. So just to recap, we washed our strawberries in one part vinegar, four parts water to help get rid of any of those mold spores and potential bacteria, as well as rinse off all of our maybe some bugs and dirt on there. I don't know. You never know what's on those strawberries, right? And then we did a quick rinse in fresh water to get rid of any of that extra vinegar flavor that might be hanging on. We did a thorough dry. It's gotta be dry or the chocolate won't stick. Then we melted our chocolate, dipped our berries, add our garnish, and voila, we have them presented beautifully for Valentine's. Thank you so much for joining us for this video. If you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button or the like button and leave your comments down below. And as always, you can buy most of these supplies on our website at artisincakes.com. You got it, artisincakes.com.